What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi. We are back at Rider Performance with the RS3 because look at, look at! We got pretty much everything except the hot side housing from the turbo engineers for the 855. Now we already have an 855 installed in the car, but this one comes with that upgraded actuator, which I'll give you an up close and personal look once we've uninstalled the original unit out of the car. I'll put them side by side. You can get kind of see the nitty gritty and see if anything else has changed besides that actuator. I don't think it has, but we'll check for you anyways. Then we gotta wait. We're back to waiting for Unitronic to be able to get this piece of hardware as well. I imagine they have it at the same time I do. Then they have to go on their dyno and they have to put in the work to get me an E85 calibration. Now in my previous videos I spoke about waiting for the 93 and the E85. We're not even touching the 93 octane file. We don't care about it yet. We want to get back to the racetrack and for that we're going to need E85. So we'll uninstall the old turbo do a side-by-side, -side, put in the new turbo, and then we wait for Unitronic to get us that E85 calibration. One of the most frequently asked questions we get is how in the hell did we get the heat shield back on? We run this with all of the turbos we've used but it is mangled. He's really had to mash it in there over and over again to get it to fit. You can see how he's hammered that end down. So yes, we always use the heat shield. It's just that he has manipulated it enough to fit every single time. So now that Kyle has removed the original 855 from the car, there is another view of it. And right beside that, we have the new one. Check out the difference in that actuator. Drastically different. Spaced out more. You can definitely tell they put some R&D into this to figure out a better solution. The rod is different. Few differences here and there. There's some machining on this that we see little piece out of that. That doesn't look like it was intentional. Yeah, it's, it's very, very close, but not the same. We're really hoping that this actuator responds better than the previous one. Time to take this off and we will see if there's any difference with the turbine. Kyle has removed the manifold and now we see the original 855 exposed with that 777 backplate on there. And what we notice is we got a fancy new backplate that says 855 on the new unit. The turbines look absolutely identical, so nothing has changed there. But the rod length has definitely changed. It isn't quite as long on the new unit versus the original unit. But there they are side by side. Pretty damn cool to see. Hopefully, this is gonna be that much more responsive than this one. So when we had the turbo out, Kyle went and pulled off this heat shield and tucked in our IROS fuel kit line, bit safer, bit further away, and more room for that gigantic piece of hardware that we have down there. So the turbo has been tucked up and in there, and now to secure it. It's all in now, all tightened up. Check out the clearance on that heat shield versus that new actuator. That is close. That is too close. Extremely, extremely tight fit. So as I mentioned before, we do use the heat shield. We're putting it back on. You can see how it's been mashed into place. 
It's a royal pain in the butt as well because the bolts go underneath the heat shield, but we do use it and have used it all along. There it is all wrapped up, nice and neat. Kyle has completed the install on that TTE 855 hidden underneath all of this gloriousness. As I made mention, we tucked that iRose fuel line back in behind that heat shield. You got the other heat shield underneath, which I've shown previously, and then over top of that, the Unitronic intake. Now time to start it up and let it smoke away as we cook off the coolant that may have escaped during the install. So we've been running the car for about five minutes now to let it warm up and you guys can see right there how the coolant is starting to cook off. Spill a little bit on these turbo installs. Not a ton this time, but still a little. Well, we're all wrapped up here at Ryder Performance. Thank you so much to Kyle for the install. Always nice, short, and sweet. We prevented a lot of that coolant from escaping, unlike last time when we did the original 855 swap. We got it everywhere and we had a bonfire pretty much. So now the wait is on. Back to Unitronic, we have this turbo installed. As I've mentioned in my previous videos though, they are a massive company with a lot going on. So I don't have a timetable from them on when I will be receiving that tune. Until then, it'll be sitting in the garage collecting dust until we are ready to rock and roll with that tune. And as I previously mentioned, we're waiting on the E85 tune. We will not be bothering with a 93 octane tune until later, probably the fall or the winter. Because it's racing season and we want to go fast, we want to make power. So we're waiting on that E85 tune. So until then guys, take care.